Welcome back for the end of the year videos that hopefully everyone has been waiting on. So these are going to happen over the next like six days. Each day is going to be for a different section of books that I have read this year. So to start off with, we have my worst books, the one stars that I truly reserve for the absolute worst. It's a very short list. And then progressively, we get to the longer ones. But today is going to be a short one with a whopping two books. That's not bad. Two that were absolutely horrendous that really should be out of print and just burn every copy and the world would be a better place. That's not bad to only have two out of 161 books that I read this year. So the first book is The Path of the Dream Healer by Adam. <laughs> this was one that is from my mother-in-law's collection that we ended up with after she passed away. And the beginning of this year, I was trying to read through all of the books that we had I didn't realize the amount of like random searching I could find and honestly I think the library has more than when I first started to look you know like almost 15 years ago <laughs> so there's a lot more books available but the beginning of this year I was just working through the books I had in our collection and my mother-in-law had a lot and so this was one of hers and truly this is one of the worst books I have ever read. So my big takeaways from this book was that, first of all, the message is very dangerous. It's one we've come across multiple times if you've been on the channel for a while. It usually comes up with the like law of attraction kind of books, but it's the thing of like, without modern medicine we can heal you, I have magical powers, and I can cure your cancer, and I have the touch. And this dude in particular is on such an ego trip the whole time that like he is the chosen one we are just living in his world <laughs> like it comes across as so cultish and also just a dangerous message go get modern medicine i really hate authors that put down modern medicine and also put this like false hope that like you're able to like cure like these really incurable diseases and really challenging diseases by like their metaphysical touch basically whether it's through spells or usually again it's the law of attraction crowd and like the you know reiki and like non-touch healing methods and that sort of vibe not everyone but a lot tend to have that mindset that they can just magically cure everything and if you can't it's your fault and this dude really came across as that and also again the ego in this book was truly too much <laughs> and it's like it could it could be burned every copy and again the world would probably be a better place if you want more of the discussion on this or any of the books that i'll be talking about for the rest of the year obviously go check out the full reviews but that was the main points i wanted to bring up for this one now let's move on to the second book that i absolutely hated this year well, my only other one star book this year was hands down my most popular book review and just video in general of this year. <laughs> it is still my top video. When I look at my analytics every week, every month, it is still the top dog and I didn't anticipate it being that. I didn't know it was going to be the popular book and it sucks because it's such a bad book. <laughs> so I hope that my review lets people know that like, please just don't touch this book. It's so bad. It is one of my most ranty videos I have ever made. <laughs> like it was just truly the worst. So this was Witchcraft, a handbook of magic spells and potions by Anastasia Greywolf. Oh, really, this book was just truly so horrendous that it's like, I wish that I could burn every copy. I want to ban the author from ever being able to write again. Like it is just truly the worst book that has ever been written and it made the other book in this list a little bit better which is saying something because i really hated that one but this in particular was just so bad and i i don't know why people are buying this book i don't know how it has good reviews it makes me very questionable for the world when i see it in like our local witchcraft shops immediately i'm judging the shop immensely for bothering to carry such a horrible book I know it's a lot of work to read books <laughs> and when you're running a shop, but like you should probably like vet to some level the books that you're putting on your shelves. And like, 
I've seen it quite a few times this year and I'm like, uh, dude, please just take that off your shelf. It's so bad. It gives such a bad message. It's just vile. It's poorly written to begin with. And it's just a collection of words that just should be banned. It's just so bad. And the things that they're having you do in this book are just potentially illegal to begin with. And it I don't know how it's being like put out as like, please buy this. Just proudly display it. It's not even like where it's just the spine of the book. No, it's like the full cover is facing out on displays. It's just such a bad book. And I've got multiple points for it. I remember I made a Patreon video while I was reading through it, like trying to get through this book. I It was like a hate read to get to the end. It is so bad. And it's a long video in which I go over all of the specifics, but truly this was such a bad book. <laughs> and I really, really hope that nobody takes that book seriously, that I'm, I am happy that the like video is still so popular because it's letting people know like, hey, please just don't get this book ever. Just walk away from it. It's so bad. And that's saying something. I've read some bad books, <laughs> but like this was making the bad books look better. My like wanted like get rid of books and like the worst books of 2022. This made them not look that bad, which is like really bad. Like the one that always comes to mind is like one of my worst books I've ever read was Basic Witches. And this book by Grey Wolf was truly so much worse <laughs> because the one is just like kind of a mockery of witchcraft. This takes that to like a new level and it's like if the like witch hunters from, you know, like the medieval period were in the modern world and wanted to write like, well, this is what witches really do. That's this book. It's so freaking bad. Just please don't ever buy this book. These two both are pretty terrible, but... This one, the most popular video of the year, it just don't read it. Just get rid of it. Just walk away from it. Inform shops like it's super bad. <laughs> Please take it off your shelves. It's just, it's not a good book. So needless to say, it was, I think, my worst book I have ever read, ever, in the entirety of all of the witchcraft books I have read in almost 15 years. I feel like that is enough just ranting. If you want more on these two books, again, I will link the actual like review videos below so you can find them. But again, this was just the worst. <laughs> so from here, we're going up. The two stars are not as bad, but they're still pretty bad. <laughs> but they're not like, please burn every copy of this book. Again, I really try to reserve the one and the five star to be like the top dogs on both spectrums of like one is the absolute worst thing that's ever been written ever why is this published who thought this was a good idea and then the five star is like pretty much everybody should have a copy of this book it is so good don't care just buy it you see it on a shelf just immediately buy and then we have a lot in between <laughs> so from here on out the videos will be much longer this is the shortest one like, I'm surprised I really only had two on my list. I've, like, triple-checked it. I'm feeling like Santa, checking the list multiple times. But, like, only two were a one-star, which is surprising. So, goes to show just how bad these two were, that the rest of them got elevated to not be a one-star. <laughs> so, anyways, those are my one-star books of 2023. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I will be talking about my two-star books. It's a much longer list. And then, of course, we'll have three, four, five, and then I will have a mega list of all the books I have read this year, all 161. I know it's a random number. I wanted to have a different number to end on, but the year got away from me. So here we are. So anyways, until next time, a huge thank you to my patrons. If you want to support me and get access to exclusive content, including books that I did not talk about on the channel, that were Patreon exclusives and extended discussions, like the one for the second book we talked about. <laughs> there are a lot of videos over there, so if you want to check it out, it is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. Huge thank you to my Patreon peeps this year. Y'all have been amazing. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love the people who are over here on my little community here on the random little niche section of YouTube. <laughs> and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and blessed be.